Oh my God, you guys have to see this. Good morning from Bangkok, guys. I am so ready to get on my first road trip here out of Bangkok. So let's get everything together and let's get out of here. Yep, just trying to get out of Bangkok here and figuring out that it's pretty much general lawlessness here. Oh look, my favorite friend, 7-Eleven. But uh, yeah, no stop signs and this is, uh, this is pretty interesting. But it's okay, driven in pretty crazy places before so I should be able to figure my way out of here. Probably the toughest part is the fact that I'm using my phone for both navigation and to record this video. I know, not too bright. Well, I made it out of Bangkok in one piece. Didn't get lost, I don't know how I managed to do that. But now we're cruising along Highway 7 and if you're wondering where I'm going, I'm heading to Pattaya. I have never been there. I've got a buddy that I used to work with down there. So I'm going to go and visit him and I've got a few places that I wanna check out down there. But for the most part, I've made no plans, no hotel reservations and we'll just see what else we can find. I guess he doesn't wanna to talk to me. Okay. Well. So I made it here into Pattaya and now I'm actually at the Sanctuary of Truth. This looked like an amazing place from the pictures I've seen and I'm really excited to go take a look. Oh my God, you guys have to see this. So I have to wear these hard hats for some reason here but I'm at the Sanctuary of Truth and guys, look at that magnificence behind me. If you can see it beyond this, uh, helmet here let me take it off but check that out that is absolutely insane it is a giant wooden temple damn this thing is just absolutely magnificent it is impressive it is huge and I've never seen anything like it. It is completely carved out of wood, as I mentioned. Oh my God. You guys have got to see this. This is just absolutely incredible. This video does not do justice to the size of this place. The enormity of it and just so magnificent. I don't even know what to say. This place is just absolutely insane. Oh my God. If you ever get a chance to come down here, if you're in Pattaya, come check out the Sanctuary of Truth. Yeah, it's 500 baht. It's a little bit pricey, but I've never ever seen anything like this in any country that I've ever been to. And it is just, I mean, to say it's astounding and breathtaking would be an understatement. Sanctuary of Truth is an unfinished museum that was started in 1981. It is built completely out of wood, it's a combination of temple and castle, and is based around the Ayutthaya Kingdom structures. It is still such a magnificent place. You have to wear hard hats because it's under construction, and I'm just blown away by the size and the sheer energy of this place here. Oh my goodness, I, again, if you're ever down here in Pattaya, 
definitely come down here to the Sanctuary of Truth. Well worth the admission price. Magnificent experience really enjoyed this place and now it is time to get some food because I am hungry It's almost two o'clock and I haven't eaten anything today. What did you think of that? Did you enjoy that the uh, sanctuary of truth? Oh Man, that was just so cool. I'm so hungry. There's a restaurant back there But it's such a touristy place that it's probably gonna be uh, overpriced for what it is and I'm gonna go find another place to eat now in case anyone was wondering this this is my trusty ride Mazda 2 Fully tricked out with the supreme mirror right there, the wacky door handle chrome inserts, and of course we got some wind blockers here. And I don't know what happened here. I didn't do it, I swear to God. I just borrowed this car from my friend. I did not break it. I just popped open the trunk to grab something and I found this. I, I, I think this needs to be my mascot now. All right, buddy, in you go. There we go. We have to buckle him in or her in, or whatever. You know, on second thought, this is Thailand, and uh, the little bird here does not need a safety belt. She'll be just fine, or he, or whatever. Well, she was definitely thirsty. We just filled up, and at 35 Thai baht per liter, which is about $1 US, and it takes almost four liters for a gallon, we took 1,340 Thai baht for 38 liters. So this is right around $37 to fill up this car. Nice that it's a diesel and a bottle of free water. Ended up making it down here to Jom Tien Beach and I got hungry. So I'm gonna go eat something and then we're gonna go look for a hotel. But wait, before we do that, I got a favor I wanna ask you guys. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, why not? Only about 50% of you that watch my videos are subscribed. Do me a personal favor, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to click the bell so you get notified. This is the best way you can support me and help spread my videos and help me make more videos. This is all I ask of you guys. Thanks again. So originally I was thinking maybe staying in Jom Tien so it wouldn't be so crazy, but you know, now that I've cruised through here, I'm gonna go back to Central Pattaya, uh, find a hotel. My only issue finding something is, because I'm driving a car, I need to find a hotel that has free parking, or at least parking of paid parking, whatever. So after lunch here, I gotta find a hotel. If you watch some of my videos when I moved from California to Texas, you might realize that I don't plan when I drive. This is something new for me since I have started on this journey in my life, but I'm not making plans when I go places now. I just drive somewhere, then I find a hotel that I like or food, and that's how I'm gonna do it on this trip as well. Wow, so look at this sandwich. It's a giant club sandwich. I've been eating a lot of Thai food and I just felt like ordering a club sandwich. Although this one has egg on it and I've never seen a club sandwich with egg, but hey, you know, this is the way they do it here. Let's try it. This looks delicious. I'm super excited to try this club sandwich because I haven't had a club sandwich in obviously months. I haven't had one since I got here. And there's bacon, ham, what else? Tomato, there's lettuce, there's usually avocado, but this one has egg. I've never had it with egg, but yeah, looks good. Mm. This is really good. Like I said, egg is a little bit strange on a club sandwich, but it's got the main ingredients. Chicken, bacon, ham, well, ham, and, uh, and egg that they put on it. But man, it's really good. I've got some french fries here, Looks like little frozen dudes. Nothing exciting, but oh. That is a really good club sandwich. The bread is nice and crisp. The bacon's nice and crunchy. It's not really soggy. Uh, again, the egg in here is a little bit different for me, but I'm really enjoying this. I've been eating so much Thai food that it just, I don't know, it just sounded right. I'm gonna eat the rest of this sandwich because I'm really hungry. And then I have to find a hotel somewhere around here. So 
Let me eat for a few minutes and then we'll get back on today's adventure. Well, that was a really good club sandwich, guys. This is Cafe Lemar. I'll put the link down in the description below. And I have booked myself a hotel, so now it is time to drive over there. And uh, fingers crossed that it's as good as it looks. I arrived at my hotel. Now let's go check in and see how this place is. So I booked this on Agoda and this is the LK Empress. Let's go take a look. This is like uh, right on Beach Road, which is really close. And since I've never stayed in Pattaya, I figured I would come and stay at a really nice place. They got a beautiful lobby, very kind of a Victorian feel. Uh, I'm not really into Victorian stuff, but it looked really nice. All right, so you guys are gonna see this room same time I am. Okay, got a nice little sitting area over here. Let's take a look at this room. Very interesting decor. I hope this bed is firm. I know some people like them soft. I prefer my bed firm. Oh, let's find out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a nice firm bed. Very happy with it. Oh, this is a pretty cool room, fancy. I thought it would be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter to me too much. Obviously, television. I think I have a lovely view of the parking garage across the street. They are completely out of sea view rooms because with the pandemic uh, restrictions being lifted, people are coming back to Thailand, which is really awesome. And is this just storage? Yeah, ironing board. I'm not going to be ironing anything. It's supposed to be a jacuzzi room, though? Ha! Huh. I got a little jacuzzi tub. Great, I can relax in this later while looking at myself. Oh, that's not a mirror, that's the shower. So we got a shower. There's the mirror, there's 7-Eleven. Hey, 7-Eleven, when are you gonna sponsor me? I still have my tag on. How embarrassing. So this room includes free breakfast and uh, it was right around 1,700 Thai baht a night. So I think it's uh, right around $56 US, uh, which considering that I'm right on the beach, I mean, the beach is right behind me. So I'm right on, uh, on the main road here. I don't have to walk too far. I'm also very close to uh, a couple of night markets here and a couple of other things, not too far from Walking Street. So this is great. I'm happy with it. It's a little bit more than I needed to spend, I know, but uh, I just wanted something big and comfy for my first time here. Almost forgot the little kitchenette here, and we've got all the important stuff. Oh, wait, what did they leave? Ah, condoms and mouthwash, because, you know, you want to make sure that your breath is good before you have sex with somebody you don't know. A refrigerator. Let's see, they leave me any goodies, snacks. Oh, there's drinks in here. I'm sure they're not free. But that is ridiculously funny that they leave a box of condoms in here. And it's uh, 120 Thai baht for a box of condoms, which is right around $3.50. I also think the 1980s just called and they want their little controller back. Uh, this is really pretty funny. We've got balcony entry, air conditioning. I guess I can turn anything on and off remotely. Um, interesting little box almost forgot to see if i have any kind of view let's go out here oh there's a balcony nope. gotta be smarter than the door yep so i got a view of uh actually another hotel not a parking garage but there is the water guys so literally right on beach row there isn't much of a sunset tonight because of these clouds behind me but it's still a beautiful day out and there's not a lot of people here so far i'm really enjoying my time here in pataya now I'm going to go meet a buddy of mine that I used to work with uh, for dinner. And uh, I haven't seen him in like, I don't know, seven, eight years. Well, nine years. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then we'll see where we go after that. Well, guys, you can see I have changed. I had a great dinner with my friend. I haven't seen him for about eight or nine years. We worked together in law enforcement. It was great catching up. And now I'm on a bot bus here in Pattaya. I've actually never been on one. I'm heading down to Walking Street because that's where I'm going to meet him. And, uh, you know, stuff that uh, I don't want to show on this channel. Not that it's going to be anything crazy, trust me. But I want to throw some of my videos up here, so take a look at them. And don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. They will definitely continue this trip in the next video. So until then, guys, please don't forget to take care of yourselves. Bye.